The Education Channel takes you inside the classroom to see what's cool in school. So, how will we meet the needs of society in the future? Where will the technologists, engineers, and innovators of the next generation come from? It is especially important that girls and other underrepresented populations are encouraged to fully participate in STEM-related experiences. Perhaps the future employees will come from Calusa Park Elementary. Calusa Park inspires their youngest elementary learners, those in kindergarten through second grade, with specialized science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM activities in their K-2 STEM lab. And the teachers and students are having a blast learning about the concept of force using racing ramps and racing simulations on iPads. Principal Linda Walcott explains Calusa Park's vision. At the beginning of the year, we had a vision to incorporate more hands-on STEM activities for our students. So we added a STEM resource position, and we've worked on creating a STEM lab for the entire school. And as we've been in that process, uh, our kindergarten teachers thought it would be a great idea if we had a smaller version of a STEM lab available for our kindergarten first and second grade students that had more floor space, lower exploration tables, lower computer tables so that they could really have some meaningful uh, and engaging STEM activities to take place. Using a centers-based approach, students rotate through various STEM activities, all designed with different learning needs in mind. STEM coach John Luciano supports these fantastic Friday opportunities. Well, it gives the students an opportunity from all walks of life, no matter cultural backgrounds or learning abilities or how they come into kindergarten, whether they're reading or not reading, whether they even know letter sounds, or if they have language issues, we can still have that differentiation for them because it's a hands-on universal design for learning in this classroom. And it gives them accessibility with, as you can see throughout the room, where they're touching things, manipulating things, learning things on discovery education and being able to manipulate what's going on in there. Um, it's also available to them in Spanish and English and in a variety of different levels where we can make it available to them and accessible to all the students in the kindergarten classroom. And now you know what's cool in school.